So this is Sony a7R5. This is Magic here. I'm a wedding photographer and I'm here in sunny Lisbon. It's actually not that sunny. I'm sorry. It was a mistake coming here. And I just shot like two sessions with a brand new Sony a7R5 testing its out of focus capability. So all the new AI processing power in this camera unleashing on two couples in the last two days. And I'm just going to show it to you so you can enjoy seeing how well or how bad it actually performs. This is going to be your call because you know how your camera works and you're going to see full footage from this camera two sessions comment below what you like what you didn't like we're gonna start right here so you're gonna go now and shoot Matt and Emma and that's exactly what we did we just went beneath these beautiful arches right here in the plaza and I started with this nice shot them cuddling but then when I you know turn around and you can see because I slowed down the footage the camera grabs an eye of Matt even though he's turned back to me so that is impressive that is quite news and then we went for a walking shot so with walking shots I'm shooting 35 1.4 G master at 1.4 as you can see I am using a point so this is a spot but in real tracking mode so as soon as I half press the shutter on either Matt's or Emma's face it's just following that person and it does that flawlessly so you can see the images you can zoom out 100% they're beautiful they're sharp um, faces are sharp eyes are sharp it is what it's supposed to be uh, but then another walking sequence but this time I asked Matt to spin Emma because I wanted to keep tracking Emma as she turns back to me and you can here see the new rectangle box of the focusing on her body so as soon as she turns back to me uh, the camera still recognizes her as a person uh, because of that AI unit that is able to process this whole structure and decide this is the body this is a person and thanks to that it can just quickly go back to the face as soon as the face appear in the frame so this is beautiful this is next level and also a huge shout out to narrative select which is the sponsor of this video which is my go-to tool to call all of my wedding images it is just so easy to call my work with this AI power tool which recognizes the faces in the frame it does recognize the eyes on the faces and will show me those faces so if I have a, like a big group of people I can see the faces right away and just make a quick decision because it will rank them depending on how sharp the faces are and this is a game changer it makes my life so much easier but also it does make my call much much better and the best part of this tool that it is for free if you use it up to four projects a month they change from six to four but four is still plenty so you can like definitely check it out there's a link down below to sign up so make sure you check out narrative select are you familiar with any of the photography related stuff like megapixels and stuff yeah. okay so it has like a lot of them yeah. so the image is very crisp and sharp so we can we can zoom in on your face very much oh, like right to the eye yeah. So after explaining to Emma like what is this camera all about, I decided to take a nice portrait of her to show her the, the capabilities of that 61 megapixels. So I did switch to my 51.2 and shot a couple portraits at f1.2. I decided to uh, put her side to the, this nice green wall so I can get like very nice, you know, rendering background and foreground blur, but still get the, the eye 100% in focus. 51.2 and then I tested more walking sequences but this time with 50 millimeters f1.2 at 1.2 because this is how I roll I also you know like to check things very hardcore and even like that walking sequence as you can see they weren't walking slow it was a quite fast walk but all the photos even though shot at f1.2 uh, them moving me moving they're all 100% in focus which is beautiful and right after that we went to a spot close to the bridge which is one of my favorite spots actually from this shoot and as you can see as I'm moving back the focus still uh, keeps the faces and if it doesn't keep the faces you can again see that new rectangle box just around Matt or Emma showing that this is a body structure this is a person that we're focusing at and this is a beauty of 61 megapixels here you can make a vertical photo from a horizontal image and still get like plenty plenty of details and then I moved in quickly here I'm shooting 3514 again get closer 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 now the way I love shooting 35 mil lens with the couples is 
like to be honest just in their faces so as you can see I'm really close to them because I want that intimacy in the image so the wind is blowing which is beautiful you get this beautiful beautiful portraits I think one of my favorite ones from this session and also all of these photos are edited with my magic Kadabra preset the one preset that I use to edit all of my work you can purchase the bundle with editing curse right below here but also when you purchase my presets you get them for a lifetime I will update this pack because this is my go-to pack this is my magic adapter the one pack I'm actually updating it this month so you get the free update if you ever purchase the magic Kadabra, you'll get the new course and the new tools and the new versions of the presets if you're a magic Kadabra person you're a magic Kadabra person for life and for the second shoot, we went to Praia Ursa, the Ursa beach, which is next to Cabo da Roca. Like beautiful, amazing landscape scenery for portraits, and like one hour away from Lisbon. So if you're there, make sure you check out this spot. And I went with Pedro and Catarina. They were my couple that I shot their wedding six years ago. So this is like a very nice anniversary session for them. And here I went for this epic portraits. I wanted them to be close. So there's a lot of face-to-face -face close images. I ask them just to be close to each other, to touch heads, uh, to feel each other, to get them in that nice mood that, you know, that there's just them and we have that beautiful background. So here I was shooting both actually 35-1.4 and a 50-1.2 and actually a 24-1.4, so all the lenses. So this is it, we're hiding from the rain. It's raining, so we're testing uh, how well A7R5 takes photos in the rain. We're gonna test that in a second. So far so good. Out of focus is perfect. It's the most perfect system I've actually used. This is our beautiful camp in the forest. And even this close-up sequences, again, you can see I'm using 35-1-4 quite close and I'm moving close to them and then I'm moving back away from them. And the focus is keeps tracking the faces, keep shooting right in the eyes here on Katarina's eyes. You can see even though it's windy, even though, you know, you get that um, kind of movement everywhere, uh, you can look at the photos and they're right there as they're supposed to be. And then I also went for 51-2 walking shot, so vertical walking shot, 51 51 2 they're walking I tell them to be close to each other and just you know talk to each other in their own language which I don't know which is Portuguese obviously um, so they do that and we have these beautiful images of them too just you know hanging around and then the last scene I ask them just to dance a bit um, also shooting 51.2 so they did not disappoint they started their crazy beautiful dance and the images are also gorgeous even shooting at f1.2 the wind is blowing on Katarina's head but the, the focus is still right there in the eye and I love these photos so much look at this the sun is out right now. We're looking at the beautiful bridge. You see the bridge? This is like the fake San Francisco bridge that you saw in the shoot. I hope you enjoyed the shoot. Uh, make sure you watch the full video about the Sony A7R5 um, as well as the other videos on the channel right here. And see you guys in the next one.